Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. In this figure, our goal is to find the area of the square. Now also take note that this figure is not drawn to scale. Now if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Now our goal in this question is to find the area of this square. Now how are we going to answer this question? Now first thing to do is to let x be the side of the square. So if this is x, this side is also x. Next, what we're going to do is to draw the diagonal of this square. Now notice that this angle right here must be equivalent to 45 degrees because this is half of 90 degrees. Now let this angle be equal to theta. And let's name some vertices in this figure. So let this vertex be equal to A, this is equal to B, this is C, and this is D. Now in this figure, we have a similar triangle. Namely, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB. The reason is two angles of those triangles have a measure of theta and the other one is 45 degrees. Therefore, by AA similarity theorem, we can say that triangle ABC must be similar to triangle ADB. Now since they are similar, we can say that side AB over side AC must be equal to side AD over side a, B. Simplify this equation and we have A, B quantity squared must be equal to side A, C times side A, B. Now, we know the value of side A, C. This is just 6 plus 4 or simply 10. Now, A, D is also given. This is equivalent to 6 units. Now, 10 times 6 will give us 60. Therefore, A, B squared must be equal to 60. It follows that AB must be equivalent to square root of 60. Now, since 60 is 4 times 15, therefore, AB must be equivalent to 2 times square root of 15. Now, at this point, we now know the length of this segment AB, which is equivalent to 2 times square root of 15. Now, since this segment measures x, it follows that the other segment must be equivalent to 2 times square root of 15, minus x. Now at this point, notice that we have a right triangle right here. Therefore, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now a squared and b squared must be equivalent to 2 times square root of 15 minus x and the other one is x, wherein its hypotenuse must be equal to 6. Now let's simplify. 2 square root of 15 minus x quantity squared is equivalent to 60 minus 4x times square root of 15 plus x squared. Now, 6 squared will give us 36. Now, x squared plus x squared will give us 2x squared. Now, subtract 36 on both sides. So, we have 60 minus 36 or simply equivalent to 24. Now, since all of the coefficients are even, so let's divide all terms with 2. This will give us 12 minus 2x squared to 15 plus x squared. Now, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. So, we have a quadratic equation x squared minus 2x times square root of 15 plus 12 equals 0. Now, since our goal here is to find the area of the square or simply the value of x, so we need to find the value of x. And to solve for the value of x, we will use the quadratic formula. So, we have negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, on our quadratic equation, a is the coefficient of x squared which is 1. So, let's replace all a with 1. Now, the b is the coefficient of variable x. Therefore, b is equivalent to negative 2 
times square root of 15. So let's replace all b with negative 2 times square root of 15. And the value of c is the constant term which is equivalent to 12. Now let's simplify this. Negative of negative 2 times square root of 15 will give us 2 times square root of 15. Negative 2 times square root of 15 quantity squared will give us 60. 4 times 12 will give us 48. Now, 60 minus 48 will give us 12. And we know that 12 is just 4 times 3. Therefore, this 12 can be written as 2 times square root of 3. Now, divide all terms with 2. This will give us the value of x as square root of 15 plus or minus square root of 3. Therefore, we have two possible values for x, namely square root of 15 plus square root of 3. And the other one is square root of 15 minus square root of 3. Now, the question is, how do we know which one is the correct value for x? Now, take note that this triangle ABC is an obtuse triangle with one of its angle must be equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, we can say that this angle theta must be less than 45. Now, taking the tangent on both sides, we have tangent theta must be less than tangent 45. Now, tangent 45 is just 1. Now, since tangent of theta must be less than 1, it follows that this x, the value of the side of the square, must be less than to the other side of this right triangle. Now, at this point, let's check all the possible values for x. Now, let's see what will happen if x is equivalent to square root of 15 plus square root of 3. Now, the other leg of this right triangle must be equivalent to 2 times square root of 15 minus square root of 15 plus square root of 3. Now, simplify. This will give us square root of 15 minus square root of 3. Now, notice that square root of 15 plus square root of 3 is greater than square root of 15 minus square root of 3. Therefore, square root of 15 plus square root of 3 is not possible. So, we have now one option left. Therefore, we can say that the side length of this square must be equivalent to square root of 15 minus square root of 3. Now, we are now ready to find the area of the square. So, what we're going to do is to square on both sides. This will give us x squared or the area of the square must be equivalent to square root of 15 minus square root of 3 quantity squared. Now simplify, this will give us 15 minus 2 times square root of 45 plus 3. Now 15 plus 3 will give us 18. Now we know that 45 is just 9 times 5 and square root of 9 is just 3. Therefore, x squared is equivalent to 18 minus 6 times square root of 5. Therefore, we can say that the area of the square in this figure must be equivalent to 18 minus 6 times square root of 5 square units. And as always, we are done.